Does your dog sleep really soundly? No, I mean like really soundly. <laughs> Do they just not respond when you call them? And do they seem oblivious to things like smoke alarms, sirens, and even you coming home? You wouldn't believe how many dogs get surrendered to shelters because they're deemed untrainable when in actual fact they just can't hear. Hey, it's Natalie here from Canine Concepts. And in this video, I'm gonna go through five ways you can gauge if your dog might be deaf or hard of hearing. I ran these home tests with my deaf dog and with my hearing dog so we can compare their reactions side by side. Now I'll preface this by saying that the absolute goal gold standard definitive test for hearing is the Brainstem Auditory Evoked Response or BAYA test. What happens is some really fine electrodes are inserted under the dog's skin and then their ears are played some sounds. Now just like an antenna, if all the nerve pathways are working as they should, then the electrodes will pick this up as an electrical signal and it'll produce a normal readout. But if the dog is deaf in one or both ears, then the waveform will flatline just like Lottie here. Now for some families, getting a Bayer test just isn't an option. So there are tests we can try and do at home. They're gonna give you a fair idea. With home tests, it's important to make sure that you're not creating air movement because their fur or skin will feel it. Also make sure that you're not creating vibrations through the floor when you approach them. Again, they're gonna pick up those vibrations through their sense of touch, not hearing. Finally, and this one should be pretty obvious, make sure they don't see you out of the corner of their eye. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna try is calling the name. Chaos. Hi. Havoc. Havoc. He's deaf. The next thing I'm gonna try is clicking. Hi. The next test I'm gonna do is use an actual clicker because often this is louder or a more salient stimulus. Good boy. Okay, so now I'm gonna use our recall whistle. You ready? Oh, he's a good boy. He's a beast. I'm also gonna try out some low pitched sounds just in case there's different frequencies that they can hear. I found the sound effect of a boat horn, so let's see how that goes. Now, I wanna reassure you, if you've got to the end of this list and they don't respond to any of the sounds, don't panic, everything will be okay. Communicating with a deaf dog is no more difficult than communicating with a hearing dog. We just do things a little bit differently. So how do you wake up that soundly sleeping deaf dog? I'm going to dedicate day four of Deaf Dog Awareness Week to just this question. When the video gets released, I'm gonna pop it right here. So if it's not there yet, check back again here tomorrow. See you then.